2018 is now history! How do we know this? Well, because the calendar tells us so. See? Look, it's January. But where's the calendar come from anyway? Hello, my name is Mr. Q, and today we're going to talk about the history of the calendar. Most of us don't think about the fact that human beings made up the calendar, even if it does reflect the natural world. And the calendar most of the world uses today isn't even that old. The history of timekeeping goes back way earlier than the first formal calendars, which came about when people like the Sumerians developed writing. Neolithic people marked time by looking around them and noticing the changes. It was pretty easy to tell when a day passed because the sun rising and setting was a pretty good clue. Months weren't that hard either, because the way the moon looks in the sky is a predictable cycle. Marking exactly when a year has passed proved to be a little more difficult. In many ways, the history of calendars is trying to come up with a system of doing that. At first, people thought using 12 lunar months would be a good solution. Lunar is Latin for the moon. Lunar months are 29 and a half days, which makes a year only 354 days long. So this method leaves you a few days short. It's fine for a while, but over time it adds up. Some lunar calendars get around this by adding an extra month every few years, like the Hebrew one or the Islamic one. Many of these lunar calendars are still in use to mark religious holidays. Eventually, people looked to the stars and constellations for answers. They also moved in predictable ways, which led them to count 365 days in a sun year, or solar year as it's known. Julius Caesar, we made a video on him, decided to make a solar calendar after the Roman lunar one had shifted out of sync with the seasons by three whole months. The astronomer Sosagenes calculated that a year is 365 days and six hours. On his advice, Caesar created the leap year, which would make up for the extra hours. He added a day to February every four years. People loved the consistency of the Julian calendar and it started being used all over the empire. So everything was fine, right? We have a pretty accurate Julian calendar based on the movement of the sun. Except, a year is not exactly six hours longer than 365 days. It's actually five hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds longer. <gasps> so after centuries of keeping good time, by the 16th century, the Julian calendar was 10 days off. Pope Gregory XIII decided to fix this with the help of an astronomer named Christopher Cleverus. I mean, Clavius, but he was pretty clever. He calculated the error to add up to three days every 400 years. Simple solution was that turn of the century years would only have a leap year if they could be divided by 400. To make up for the 10 lost days, it was decided that the day after October 4th, 1582, would not be October 5th. No, 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 it would be October 15th. Catholic states replaced the old Julian calendar with the new Gregorian calendar, named after that Pope I was talking about, Pope Gregory, but their religious rivals, the Protestants, took a little bit longer. They didn't want to admit the Pope was right. Great Britain and its colonies adopted the Gregorian calendar in 1752, by which time the Julian calendar was off by 11 days. Russia only adopted it in 1918 after the revolution, and China started using it in 1949. I guess they didn't want to rush into things. By then, air travel and telephones had shrunk the world. It made it way more important that everyone agreed what day it was. Although it isn't perfect, the Gregorian calendar is really accurate. It's just 26 seconds longer than the actual solar year. Those seconds will take 3,323 years to build up to one day, which is pretty good if you ask me. So Happy New Year 2019. I'm excited to see all of you for our new A Kid Explains History videos. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification button if you want to be the first to see our new videos. Also remember our social medias. We got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can get some juicy behind the scenes and a whole bunch of new things. Until then, I will see you next time.